Okay, sorry, <laughs> to make sure this is recording, I would literally cry if it wasn't. Um, okay, so you're gonna hear from five other amazing women, but just a little bit of um, background information about me. My name is Cami Wymore. I've been in the business just a little bit over a year, um, and I'm a triple diamond with um, our company. And so um, I jumped in, I really just ran with um, the business, having no idea what I was doing, I had no experience. Um, but I started doing host of posts right away, and I really feel like that's what um, helped build my business. And I have been in for a little bit over a year, but um, my team and I, we went triple diamond in seven months, and I, like, I think it was all because of host of posts. We utilized it to our full ability, um, and we worked it, and the whole purpose of wanting to do this is to show each and every one of you that by utilizing host of posts that you can take your business, like, you can boom it in a short amount of time. And that's why I'm so passionate about host to post because anybody can do this and anybody can make this work for them, okay? So, um, like I said, I started doing host to posts um, not too long after I had joined. Um, I probably started doing it um, two, two or three months after I joined. I, I had hit Ruby within a month and a half, but I really stayed really steady at that. I didn't hit Diamond for four months later. Um, so I started using like utilizing host to post probably around three months after. And that's, you know, like I said, guys, when my business just completely took off. Okay. So I started out just doing like five to 10 host to post a day, kind of just making it work. If you guys are brand new to this business and you don't know what host to post is. So it's just somebody that posts on their wall, a post for you. Okay. So I would just send somebody that's on my network a post to throw up as a status. They do it. Um, and then I will message anybody who comments. Um, but we're not going to go too much into the basics because we know we have plenty of Zooms about that. But um, like I said, I started doing it about three months in. And as far as where do I train my newbies to do it right away, I do in a sense, but I don't do it to a point where it's so overwhelming. Okay. So if you are brand new, what I would probably do with you is I would have you host a post for me walk you through how I message and then and then um as you know you get through that first week I call it newbie week that's what me and my team do we have a newbie week um as you're going through that first week and you're learning I will have you do little host to post here and there I'll have you start out with two work your way up to five and then work your way up to ten my leaders know that if someone comes to me and they're like my enrollments just aren't where I want to be I'm so red that's just this is me guys I'm so red that um, I core, I get my enrollments from host to post. So I will always be like, how many host posts are you getting up? That's one of my first questions. First, it'll talk about mindset, but I will automatically also go to into host post, And that's because I know it works. Um, and when I put my mind to, um, the point of making sure I got up a 10 post to post minimum a day, that's when my business took off. Okay. So my system is kind of, um, funny. It's a lot of like, back and forth you kind of just like test the waters and you're going to see what, what works for you and you're going to um make your own systems but i do three different types of host of posts i have three different types of posts for three different things okay <laughs> and i stick to the same exact post and i keep it so simple okay that is the key to host posts keep it simple and use the same post do not switch it up okay you guys are going to think i'm crazy but do not switch it up that is a win excuse me, that is when it will not work. Okay. So I do a product, I have a product host post. I have a DT host to post and I have a giveaway host to post. Okay. So some of you guys, um, if you and your teams do monthly or weekly giveaways, I will have people host a post about that. We'll get into more of that, but um, if you don't have that, then, you know, you can just still stick with the product and the DT host post. But like I said, I have the same host to post for weight loss and I keep it very generic. Okay. I don't keep it product specific. Um, I keep it very generic. Um, an idea of like something you can post is like, who's looking to lose 10 to 30 pounds by summer. And I type them out. I keep it very simple though. Okay. So just something that you would post on your own page. That's what I'm going to have people post on their page. I usually don't do the, my friend Cami is looking for product review or stuff, spots, blah, blah, blah because I want to see who is truly looking to lose weight. Sometimes I will, but sometimes I won't. I really like to just stick to that one product host post that I have. And then um, I'll do giveaway host post. 
So I will have somebody post on their wall and be like, hey, my friend Cammy um, is giving away $300 cash this Sunday. Um, it's completely free to enter. Comment your favorite donut flavor for a free entry or something. Like, <laughs> I keep it really simple. But that is the game changer. Okay. So why I love giveaway host to post, if you and your team do weekly giveaways, um, is because I don't have to post about the giveaway very often on my page. I don't have to message for people to host a post for me. People think it's so crazy when I say this, but I literally do not message for host posts because I have so many people that are commenting on the giveaway. Um, or that I'm talking to every single day that I will have host a post for me. And that's where you want to utilize your network, okay? Have people do the work for you. Work smarter, not harder, okay? So um, I get about 40 to 60 average comments on the giveaway host a post. I'll do them every other day or every two days. I do five max. Um, and then I work my way through those comments. Those are the people I will message to have them post a post for me. I get up a minimum of 10 products every day. Um, if, um, I get my five or my 10 product and I still have some more people that are, um, wanting to host a post or wanting to host post or have replied, I'll have them do a DT or I'll sometimes have them do a giveaway. Okay. But I do 10 minimum. I kind of like to stay between 15 and 20 though, not to overwhelm myself. Um, and then DT host to post. DT host post is where it's at guys. If you are not doing DT host to post, especially right now when we got them codes, Y'all, you're sleeping on yourselves. Come on, okay? That is, I, I signed two this week with DT Host Post. I had never met before, okay? DT Host Post is where it's at. Have somebody comment or post on their wall. Keep it super simple. Like I said, hey, my friend Cammie is looking for a few people that want to make an extra $500,000 a month all from their phone by the summer. Would anybody be interested? Okay? So keeping it super simple. And I message them and we go from there. Um, and like I said in the beginning, don't change it up. Okay. You, I'm, I know, I know you will because I was, I was that person that when I wasn't getting the amount of comments that I wanted to get on my host of post statuses, I was like, post to post is broken. Post post is broken. Um, this status doesn't work. The status doesn't get this, this, that, that. And I hit a point in my business where I was like, you know what? I refuse to admit that this is why it's not working. I'm just not having the right people do it. I'm not having enough people do it. Okay. It's one of those two things. I'm not having enough people do it or I'm not having the right people do it. It is not because of the script that you're doing. It is not because it's not catchy enough or it doesn't draw people in. It's not that stick to your same post to post statuses. And that's where you're going to see your business take off especially because if you make them your own, not everybody is going to be using them, okay? So then, um, like I said, that's how I do uh, LCs, DTs, um, but the one thing I will, I will leave you guys with um, that I feel like is a game changer before we go to these other women is that I, like I said, do a generic weight loss host to post. I don't have them tag me and I don't have them add a picture, okay? I will comment before and afters in the comments. And I take it, I, I try, uh, they're approved before and afters, okay? But I crop it right below, it says before and after, so that nobody sees the company, so nobody can go do a Google doctor search on them, on these products, okay? And make their own opinions. Um, but I will talk to people about Thermify X, and then I upsell them to a triple thread at checkout. Okay, that's how I do it. That's how I do every customer. I want you guys to find three products three products max that you feel like can fit into a triple threat that you know give results if you're wanting to do weight loss if you you know you, should, you would probably want to this is a really big season for weight loss okay um three products upsell every single time you're going to hear from some women on here that upsell from the very beginning and they work through the whole process i like to do thermify x and then upsell at checkout and almost every time i've done it uh, i have i've gotten 30, almost 30 customers this month, and only one has been a 30 BB, and that's how I do it, okay? So, enough about me and all of what I do. I am now going to have Ashley talk to you guys. She is a boss. I can't eat. She's, I'll have her tell you guys exactly how many customers she's gotten so far this month and last month. Let's post a post alone. 
but she's a freaking boss and I'm so excited to have her on here. Ashley, can you um, unmute yourself? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yay, you look so cute and I'm over here like in my pajamas, but it's okay. Um, well, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. My name is Ashley Fluger. I've been in this business for five years and that's the coolest thing is that you're going to hear from people and I'm a triple diamond. Um, Cammie went triple diamond in seven months. I've been in for five years. And I went triple diamond last year. So, so many different people from different walks of life who do host to post differently. And I'm so, so excited to share this with you. Um, so this month I've signed 25 loyal customers with host to post. Um, and I'm just, not only is it me, but it's duplicatable. And so put a one in the chat if you want to sign someone like Cammy. That's why we need our newbies to be doing host to post immediately, like right when they sign up. So um, just something that has been working for me. Um, I did not do host to post when I first started, but as soon as host to post was a thing, I went into it. Like I said, I've been doing this for almost five years now, um, but I've been doing host to post probably for about two years. I believe that's what took me to triple. Um, so as far as getting my new distributors to do it, yes, absolutely. I'm having my newbies. So day one is them doing their dirt list. And then day two is them immediately hopping into host to post. And the reason why I love that is because even if they don't sign someone, they're having conversations. They have, they're, they're seeing that people are interested and that is so exciting. I remember when I was brand new and I was talking to people, it made me so excited that I was just even having conversations with people. So we just have to keep that in mind. Um, what I'm doing for like my system with host to post. So, um, <laughs> I love you too, Rachel. Literally everything is from Rachel Jones. So I wanted to say that like, none of this is like unique. It's just duplicated and simple tips for multiple people. And it's just us doing it. And so, um, if you take one thing from here today, just do what we all say and I promise it will work. Um, so I do not have people tag me. It's the like testers needed who wants to lose 30 pounds in 90 days and don't change it. Just like Cammie said, like we want to be like, Oh, we'll switch it up. I'll do it my own way. Keep it the way your enroller or your upline is telling you to do it and just do it that way and don't try to change anything. Um, so I don't have them tag me in it. Um, I also don't like it or comment on it. So, um, but I do save it. So at the top, um, in their post at the, like the top, right, there's three dots and you can click save. So I save it to like February, 2020 host to post. Um, so what I've been doing and I, we got this from Tracy, her zoom that she did with Stephanie and Joel the other day. Um, but one of my double diamonds, Gabby made this and it is like a, just basically like a tracker. So I have eight people post about the product. And then just like Cammie said, I have two people post about the giveaway every single day. So right here, you'll see like, this is the name of the person who hosted the post. And then these one through seven is the potentials. Does that make sense? So like this is every day I print it out and then I have the date and then the loyal customers that I've signed from that. Um, and then if it's like a hot potential, I'll put like, I'll maybe like write it in red or something. So, um, one thing that I've found that really works for me is this tracker. I promise it changes everything. You don't have to have the exact same one. Just, just like Cammie said, figure out your number, how many cut or how many hosts posts you're going to get up. So many people are like, Oh, I have three hosts to post up. And it's like, no, you need more. Like if you've signed one customer from host to post, all you need to do is just do it more and more and more and keep doing it and put your focus into host to post. Um, just like, also, Cammy was saying, I feel like I'm repeating a lot, but um, I don't post about my giveaway. I've literally posted about it once this month, and I'm probably going to post about it one more time at the end of the month because I'm constantly having people post about my giveaway for me. Now, I do message for, um, I message for people to post, host a post for me, but I'm not saying, hey, girl, um, not sure if you saw my post, blah, blah, blah. I literally, so like my team, we're doing a TJ Maxx gift card giveaway. Um, and it's actually a hundred dollar value. So it really doesn't matter. I'm marketing it as a TJ Maxx. You could do target. You could do the Nike store, whatever you want to do. And I just say, Hey, random question. Do you have a TJ Maxx where you live? And everyone either has a TJ Maxx or like home goods or something where they live. So everyone says yes. And then I'm like, Oh, I love it. Like I, I have a conversation with them. And then I just ask them if they want to be entered into my giveaway. So that has worked so well. Um, and I'm trying not to look at the chat at the same time. Um, so following up, I feel like has just helped me so much, like with the enrollments that I do have. So say for example, if Cami posts for me and there's 10 comments, but I've only talked to five people, I need to go back to those other five people that haven't gotten my message. It's not that they don't want the product guys. They just, they're not seeing your friend request or they have not gotten your message or they don't know how to get in contact with you because I don't say my friend, Ashley, I just make it as a post for the person. Um, so go back to those people every single day. I go back to the last seven days and I look at the people who commented and I'll 
I'll go to someone and I'll um, cancel the friend request, resend the friend request, reply to their comment again. Hey, did you get my message? So just continue to follow up. If people are commenting, you need to make sure that you're getting in contact with them. Um, so just following up with them. And then also with my newbies, um, I, you want to have some place where you can give them all of the information where it's not back and forth. Okay. Now what do I say? Now what do I say? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Like it's too much. So whether that's like a team page or a post or a text replacement that you have, um, like a Google form, have it somewhere for you can, where you can tag people or send them everything that they need. Because with host to post, if you start having too many, well, right now we're all having a bunch of distributors. We want them to all do host to post. That's when it becomes overwhelming on us and we get burnt out and we don't want to train these people. Have a place, be smart. Just like Amy was saying, work smarter and not harder. Have a place where you can give them all the information that they need about host to post and then upselling. Once I have a customer's information for the Thermofight, once again, Rachel Jones gave me this um, upsell and it's literally um, exactly what she told me. I was like, hey, I'm not gonna change it. I'm just gonna do it. Even though I felt like it was cringe. Sometimes the cringy things like work best. Anyways, so I, once they send me their information, I send the upsell and it goes from 30 BV to 88 guys. And one day I signed like 360 BV and it was all from host to post. So, so many people are like, I do a lot of work, but it's low BV. Well, not if you're doing like, not if you're continuing to follow up with these people and you're upselling. So that's the point. You're not just supposed to sign 30 BVs. We want them to get the best results. So it's the cleanse. Thermofight and Fat Fighters. It's $100 and it's 88 BV. And that's all I got. Hopefully I was underneath my nine minutes and I hope that was good information. If anyone needs a graphic, I'll post in the lifers. Hold room. on, I'm gonna call you back. Oh, okay. I will post it in the lifers page and um, everyone can send it to their teammates. Oh, that was so good. I don't know who doesn't have a TJ Maxx around them. I do not want to be where they live. Actually, I probably need to be where they live. I'd probably save some money. Um, but oh, okay, yes, I literally made so many notes. Um, and also one thing that I want to add on to that, every time you talk to somebody, let's say you get somebody that is interested in the product that they can't order right now, get a follow up date and then ask them to host a post. Okay, ask everybody you talk to to host a post. Okay, now we're gonna move on to Courtney. This girl reminds me so much of me. She's young um, and she's a boss at Host to Post and she can mass enroll. I believe one month she signed over a hundred LCs uh, with Host to Post. So Courtney Williams, I'm gonna go ahead and let you take it away and bring the fire, girlfriend. Can you unmute yourself maybe? Hey you guys. Okay, so I'm Courtney Williams. I'm a triple diamond. I'm 21 years old. So I started this business when I was in college. Um, early to make a little bit, literally $200 a month. And now I was making a full-time income before I even graduated. I literally wanted to drop out, but I didn't. I finished and now I work this business full-time. But that's just a little bit about me. Um, but about when I started a host post. So um, like Ashley was saying, I wasn't even around when I joined. I joined three years ago a day. And so it literally was not a thing. Like we were used to the like enroll four customers. That's it. Like just try to enroll four. And then host post came out and it literally blew up and we started mass enrolling, which was insane. And so um, the time that I started doing host post was actually right after a conference two years ago, which is when I went, I went getting paid as a distributor, lifetime rank as an executive. And that month they announced the $5,000 bonus. And I literally went from getting paid as a distributor to getting the $5,000 bonus and going enrolled in that same month, all from host to post, hundred percent from host to post. Um, and then I went um, like double diamond, like two or three months later. And so it was all from host to post. And one of those promotions, I brought in like 7,000 BV just on myself because of host to post to make it happen. And so if you need, if you're looking at your promotion thinking it's too far away or you need too much or whatever, you can bring in that amount of BV and then you can teach your team to do the same exact thing and you guys can mass bring in that volume that you need to reach any promotion, no matter if it seems too far. Um, and so that's kind of about when I started and then as for newbies, I have them start in their first week, kind of like the other girls were saying, I kind of let them get their feet wet, start posting, all those kind of things. And then once they've kind of reached out to their friends and family, I have them start host to posting. And what I've been doing is kind of walking them through it step by step. Um, so I liked, Kimmy, I liked your idea about having them host post for you. Um, what I've been doing is telling them like, here's what host post is. I'm going to walk you through it. I send them a giveaway post to put up. I, I like the ice cream one. That's like the first hundred people that comment. Okay. 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 Um, so that's the one that I have them. Okay. okay, you're good. I get so distracted. Um, 
then I say, when people comment on that post, send me a screenshot and I'll send you what to send to them. So they send me a screenshot and then I'm like, okay, message this person and say, hey, I'm doing this giveaway, make this post for me and whatever. And I'm walking them through it step by step. And they're just sending me screenshots to teach them how to do it step by step versus like, here's all the info. Good luck. You know, like it is confusing and it's kind of a step by step process. So I like to walk them through it. Um, so that's what I've been doing for new DTs. And then as for my host post system, same as a lot of the other girls, I do three different host posts, product, DT, and the giveaway. And I've actually been doing, um, I think you guys were all talking about Facebook. I actually do DT host posts on Instagram as well on their stories. So I have them put up a picture on their stories that says, hey, my friend Courtney is looking for anyone, you know, looking for part-time or full-time work, you know, anywhere from $5,000 to $1,000 a month. And then at the bottom, it says, um, message opportunity to, and then I have a blank, like black box. It's just a black box for info. And so I, what I tell them, and I say, put this on your story and then tag or mention my name in that black box. So it, they'll literally tag me and it'll say at Courtney T. Williams. And so when people go and look at that, instead of having them text me or like them trying to find me, all they have to do is click on that. Because if you've looked when people tag you in their stories, people can click on that and go to my profile. They're going straight to my profile, messaging me opportunity, and I probably get like at least three to five message requests in my inbox every day from random people that are saying opportunity, and it's from those. And so I love to use that. And if y'all have any questions, you can put them in the chat. Um, and then on Facebook, I do kind of the same thing as you know, DT host post, loyal customer, and then um, the giveaway as well. So I have a few people post about the giveaway. I don't want to overwhelm myself, but once I get some that blow up, I kind of stop doing that. I don't have an necessarily like a number. I just kind of go until I feel like I'm good for that. And then um, obviously my DT host post that's just who's looking for an extra income. I actually have a graphic that I put with that. So I kind of explained it in like the message. I explained like who's looking for any part-time, full-time work, this amount of income, whatever. And then I have a graphic that goes with it so that they can see my face just because I feel like with the opportunities, sometimes they're like, is that a scam? Like what is this random message? But when they can see your face and see that it's real, they're like, oh, okay, like I'm interested. And so I love having that with it. And it kind of just does the same thing as my DT one on Instagram. Um, it just doesn't have the bottom part because obviously they're going to comment for more info. Um, so that's kind of that. And then I do a general weight loss on Facebook. And I do have, this is different. I do have them tag me and I stopped for a while and then I started again. And honestly, you guys, it works either way. You just have to do it. You know, find something that works for you and do a lot of it and you're going to see the results for it. For me, it was harder to keep track of all the saves. And then I found that like when I went to go message them, they're like, who are you? Because I wasn't tagged in the post and the, my post doesn't say like my friend Courtney. So like this random chick is like adding them and messaging them about weight loss. And they're like, what the heck is that? And so um, I just found it works better for me when I tag people. But honestly, if you're doing it and it's working, do it works for you and just do a lot of it and it's going to work either way. Um, what else was I gonna say? Um, so, okay, so something about host posts, I think sometimes we think about, oh my gosh, it's only for, you know, enrolling customers or enrolling DTs or whatever, but what host posts is, is like literally like a circle of your whole business, because when you're adding all these people to message them, some of them, okay, for the giveaway, for example, when people comment on, somebody posted for me about the giveaway, 60 people comment, I'm adding them all as friends, and this is a Rachel Jones tip, um, I'm commenting back to them and saying, hey, I sent you a friend request so that you can see my giveaway on my page. And so I don't message them about the giveaway until they accept it so that they'll see it and it won't just go to their request. And so that, that gets people to see my message more. So those people are actually posting for you and the message isn't getting lost. But when I'm doing that, I swear to you, all of those people go look at my page right after that. They add me and they go stalk my page because people are nosy and people are curious. And I swear half of them are going to one of my posts, whether it's a product post that I made a couple days ago or a business post and they're commenting for more info. So I really just wanted them to make a post for me, you know, for host posts, but they're going and commenting on my stuff because they're new to my page and they're interested. So it's like an insane way of adding to your network. Um, and then as for um, upgrading, like we were talking about before, um, I'm one of the people that upgrade right away. And like she was saying, like, just do it either way, just do it and it's going to work. You just have to be confident. And so when you go into it, I just go into it and I'm like, listen, if this person is interested in weight loss, they're going to get the best weight loss system, not just one product, but all of it. And that's whether you're doing it right away or at the end, make sure you're offering it because there's so many people that are like, yes, I'll have to wait till payday, but I 100% want this because I'm serious about my goals. You know what I mean? Like people want the best results. 
And so don't cheat them out of that just because you're scared to offer it and then you're going to get lower BB. So it's kind of a win-win because they're going to get better results. They're going to be happier and tell their friends and then you're going to get higher BB. Um, I don't know how much time I have, but the last, last thing I want to say is that something that is so good and like they were saying before, if someone hasn't ordered yet, have them post for you. And the same thing is for DT. So if someone is interested in weight loss and they don't order yet, I have them post about the weight loss. And when all their friends comment and they're ordering, they're going to be more likely to order. And same thing with DT. If they're interested in the business, have them post about the, the, um, either the, either one of them, because if they see that people are interested in the business too, or people are interested in the weight loss as well, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I need to join this business because I have people that are interested. And so having them host posts will kind of get them over the edge and get them into it because they know that people are interested as well. Um, monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> um, that is all I got. Okay, quick question for you. Because I know, I, I saw you on, on the training girl and you had um, enrolled like almost 120 LCs one month and then 100 like the next month. So do you have a minimum amount, like a non-negotiable amount of um, post to post that you do every day? Yeah, so that was last spring when I went triple. That January was like 121. The next two months were like 100 each. And that was when I was going for triple. So it was like insane. And I was like, let's get this done. <laughs> um, but as for like host post every day, it's usually like eight to 10. Um, we've been doing it with our team like eight just to kind of make it seem not so scary. And so I've been doing eight a day. Um, but honestly, there's days where I can get up like 15. And so especially with, I mean, don't go like all or nothing one day and then the next day do nothing. But there's some days where like, I'll just like whip them out and get a bunch up so that throughout the next couple of days, I can be replying to them. Um, but yeah, normally eight a day. And then there's some days where I just go ham and get like 15 up. <laughs> No, that's good. I know I'm one of those crazy ones that I'm like non-negotiable 10 minimum a day. And like sometimes I'm so red that I'll wake up and like if I didn't sign a customer the day before, I'll be like, okay, I'm signing two customers today and I will get up 20 host posts until I do it. So some of you guys will be able to relate to that and some of you won't, but um, I'm really excited for who we have next because uh, I work really closely with her one-on-one -on -one and we take bits and pieces of advice from each other. Um, but we also come from two completely different ways of life. You'll um, see what I mean. But you guys have probably heard about her. Stephanie and Joel had her on um, a training Zoom. Her name is Tracy. Tracy, can you go ahead and um, unmute yourself? Yeah, can you hear me? I can. Okay, it's so good to see you. Yes, I am Tracy Rose, um, a triple diamond in this company. Um, I think Cammie and I have been in it the, pretty much the same amount of time because um, I'm just under or just what, 16 months is where I'm at. And I'm a triple diamond. I didn't do host to post the first couple months when I got into this business. Actually, I didn't do anything the first month I got into this business because I had no intention of selling anything. But um, once I did start getting into the business, um, it was probably the third month I had gone Emerald just from working from posting and interacting. And I thought I, and this is my biggest tip to you guys. I thought that, um, host to post made me nervous. I didn't want anything to do with it. It seemed really too, too confusing. Um, I was still trying to learn the business and I just didn't want to deal with it. Cause I just, it just seemed like too much. I would see everybody talking about it. So I avoided it. Once I finally thought, you know what, I am going to just try this. It was in December um, and I was pushing for diamond. And so I did. I tried it. It was freaking easy. It was so easy. I, I could kick myself for not doing it sooner. And um, I, went I went diamond in December, right when I started doing the host to post. Then I went double in January and triple in February after we left conference. All because I, it, these host of posts, it was what changed the game for my business completely. Um, hold on a second. So the, what I want to say is um, that is my biggest tip. Do not hold back on doing host of posts. If you do not understand it, go watch the Zooms on YouTube. Ask your upline. Whatever you do, do not avoid it like I did. Because I could have been diamond a lot sooner if I hadn't sat on my ass and not done them. Um, my, I do them a little different than everybody else. Um, the way I do them is, um, let me change this video. It's distracting me. 
Okay, the way I do host the post is I'm like Cammy. I do not, I have never ever, and I know this is forbidden to say, I've never cold messaged ever. I just, that's just not been me. I don't have to do that um, because I interact so much with people. So I, the way I do it, it's kind of like Cammy. I'll interact um, it's like Sunday. Well, I interact all the time, but I really hit it hard Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I am going to be posting um, about some interactive posts and about my giveaway. And I'm going to get a ton of people that I, all these new people I've been adding are going to comment. So it's going to be all new people host posting for me. And when I go back to them, I made little notes because I have such a system. I don't think about it. It's hard to explain it. So when I go back to those people, I mean, I'll have a hundred people comment within an hour. I am not going to message all those, that hundred of people. I'm not, I'm going to message 20 at a time. I'm going to have my, my, my message that I'm going to send them. I have it in my word board. I've got a word board folder that has a million and one different hats. So I, I pick what one I'm going to use for this week. And I have everybody, I'll have those 20, I'll message them and then send the half immediately. Either they do it or they don't, I move on. I don't sit there and wait for them to respond to me and say, yeah, I wanna do it. I don't, I just, and if you go to that Zoom that I did with Joel and Stephanie, all the scripts that I send for these haps, the message that I sent off the beginning, they're all in that description of that Zoom and he put them in there. So I seen some people asking for scripts, but I will message them immediately, send them the half, that way they, they know what it is and they can decide. I'll know if they do it because I do tell them, tag me in the comments. Some will tag me in the post, that's fine. It, it hasn't made a big dif difference, like Courtney said. Um, I stopped having them tag me for a long time. It was just too confusing. So I tell them to tag me in the comments and I move on. And I, I'll do that with the first 20 and I'll walk away from it and I'll go do other stuff. Then I'll come back, I'll do the next 20. And then um, maybe 10 or 15 of those people will do the post. If you send that half right away and they see what it is, then the majority of them, I get more haps that way because a lot of them, they're like, will you post the post for me? You know, will you do it? And they're sitting there like, no, I don't want to because they don't know what you're going to send. They have no clue. They're expecting the worst. So if they see it's something so simple for a $300 giveaway, they're going to do it. So you'll get a lot more that way. Um, so then the next day, what I'll do is um, I'll go back and I save them all to a collection, like the other girl said. And then I'll go back in the, I'll get up in the morning and I'll go back to every single one of those haps that those people did. I'll throw in a new result picture. I always throw mine. I always comment on them. That, let me go back on that. I always comment on them. I always say, thank you so much for sharing this. I'm so excited about this. These results have been crazy, amazing. Here's my personal results. I always share my personal results. And then I'll share one other result picture. Next morning, I get up, I go back through them, I reboost every one of those haps with a new result picture. I'll do that in the morning to hit the morning crowd. Then I'll go back in the evening and reboost them again at night with another result picture. And I'll do that for a few days. They'll have quite a few result pictures. But at the same time, I'm seeing if anybody else has commented. I'm also following up with all the people that have commented, checking to see if they accepted my friend's request. And, um, you know, just it's you get multiple things done. At, the same time but that way you're boosting that half in the morning you're boosting in the evening you're catching both prime times you i i've signed 30 lcs this month 31 lcs this month all triple threats um 15 of them upsold to the the mocha dreams um i don't ever i i don't think i've ever sold a 30 bb order honestly i start out big and at the bottom i say or you can always start with the 36 bb um i give them that option at the end um, and then when they send me their information, I say, so you want to jump start your first month with the first, with all three, right? And they're like, yeah, I do. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to say that. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is I'll post that, that giveaway post on Wednesday. Everybody that comments on that post, they're, they're friends of mine already, or they wouldn't be commenting. But whenever I go to message them, I add two to three people off of their wall. Because if, they, if they're commenting on it, then their friends probably would too. So I'm adding two to three friends per person that's commenting on my giveaway post. And then, so that keeps me busy Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm busy messaging and answering host posts 
all week, the rest of the week. And then on Sunday, throw up a post again and say, I've got 5,000 friends and only 300 people want, want, want $300 cash. Seriously? Boom. It boosts it right back up again. I'll have another 100 people comment on Sunday night. And now somewhere all scrambling, try to enter in all our people. But um, that is how I do it. It works freaking amazing. Um, with newbies, um, I, I know how I was nervous about HAPS. And, and then I'll, this will be the last thing I'll share. I would, how I was nervous about HAPS because I didn't understand the business quite yet. So I don't want to do that to my newbies. So what I do with my newbies is I, I have a, like a little six-day training thing for them. But I'll have them do a HAP for me. Put a hat on your wall for me. Tag me in the comments. I'll run it like it's my hat. I'll answer the people. I'm going to screenshot the way I'm messaging these people. I'm going to share that with that newbie. And I'm going to show her. And anybody we get off that hat is going to be her customers. Um, but I'm going to train her and show her how I message people by doing that hat. At the same time, I have her watching hat zooms or him watching hat zooms in the meantime until they get, you know, understanding what it's like. Because otherwise, you just got your phone blowing up like crazy with all your new DTs with all these questions. So um, I try not to overload them right off the bat, but I do try to help them that way. And I think, oh, and the other quick tip on this is when I'm sending those haps to these people, every 20 people, um, like I said, I have a folder with a ton of different haps in them. So I kind of choose and I kind of go by if they've had for me before and they did weight loss. Well, they're going to do the lash. They're going to do my lash half or my hair half or something like that. Um, so they're not redoing another weight loss one. I want to see if they can get other people. And then I always change an emoji or a word um, every 20 people just so because I get so many out in a day. That way, Facebook doesn't flag it. Um, if you are using keywords like 30 pounds, my friend, um, uh, 90 days, any of those words, use that text script app and change the font of those words because I do find that those those haps that don't that I don't do that with don't get as much response and I feel like Facebook is kicking those to the bottom because we did have that issue in the past. So get creative with them, um, change the fonts on those keywords so you can still use them. I still have mine say, um, my friend Tracy's um, looking for five brand, I say brand reviewers. I don't say testers because to me it sounds like a product tester like a lab something i don't know but i'm 52 too so my my following isn't as up to date as you guys so <laughs> who knows but that's that's my tips that's really all i got i don't know if you got any questions cammy i'm losing my voice okay i have two questions um well actually one do you have a minimum non-negotiable amount that you get up every day i, I get as we many as i can on sunday <laughs> how many <laughs> <laughs> we well, <laughs> yeah, and I'll tell you what, um, this is how that works. And I, I was, thought you were going to ask me that. I don't have like a set amount that I have to get up every day because the way I work it is I, I really started on Wednesday and that Wednesday will actually carry me through to the following week. I still have people commenting on that from last Wednesday. So I'm, I still haven't even gotten through all those people yet. So I'm still working on it. So I'm still getting haps. But I'm telling you, Wednesday to Sunday, it's like 30 plus halves a day. I mean, it's crazy. My husband knows he's not going to talk to me for, for four days because my phone is constantly blowing up. Um, and that's, that's how I work it. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I, I really do a lot of interacting. Um, and Sunday is the best day, if you ask me, the best day for halves. That is like, I do all this work. And then all of a sudden, Sunday, everybody and their brother decides, they want to read this half and they want it. I'm telling you, Sundays are the days, Sunday evenings and DT posts, DT. Um, I don't do DT halves on um, Facebook. I, I personally haven't had luck with them. Again, I'm 52. My following could be different. Everybody's different. I do do DT halves on Instagram, um, but I don't, I don't do them on, I just haven't had luck on them on Facebook. My DTs come from people that follow me, that, that, that follow my lifestyle posts, um, that kind of thing. So I'm not a pro on that. Hey, everybody's different. Everybody has their way. Um, yeah. I agree. Sundays are the days to get the post posts up. Tracy and I were laughing because we had so many people that just decided to comment on 
the one giveaway post that we post a week on Sunday, and we both had had over 40 post to post up by Sunday evening um, at one point. And I was like, okay, I gotta like cut this off because I'm still yeah. here on Tuesday trying to play catch up. Um, but I am super, super excited for this next girl that we have. Um, I, this is my first time meeting her, so, but I've heard her story. She is a boss mass enroller because of post to post. Um, so we are going to have Taryn. Taryn, can you unmute yourself? Hey, Cami. Thanks so much for having me on. I'm so excited. It's good to like meet you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, okay. This is so good. Tracy, you just, I got so many good tips from you and everybody that's been on here. Um, so I um, have been in the business just short of five years. It'll be five years in like two weeks. And um, I went triple last year as well. And kind of like everybody on here, post to post is really what took us triple. Like we needed that volume and that's really what pushed our team and got us to that next level. Um, and I honestly, I wish I had a number, but I know that it was like massive amounts of volume that we pulled in over a few months using host to post. Um, and I, I know when we really started focusing on it, our enrollments jumped from like, I think in January we had like 150 enrollments, hundred and something like that. And by March we had over 300 enrollments. So, I mean, it's, it's truly you guys, if you're not utilizing host to post, you are hurting your business. Um, because I can guarantee you, if you're not doing it, someone else is doing it, and they're going to talk to your your network, not purposely, but because you're not utilizing it. So um, I have not always done host to post. Um, like I said, I've been in for five years, and it wasn't really a thing. Um, and even when it started to become a thing, it just really wasn't, I was nervous to do it, so I just didn't do it. Um, and then Finally, I was like, all right, I, I need to kind of see what this is. And immediately, like the first month, I really took it seriously. I enrolled like 47 customers and I was like, okay. <laughs> so now when I, when I'm really on it and I'm really working on it, um, I, you know, I have a, a, well, she's six months, seven months old now, but you know, I kind of fell off a little bit after I had my baby and I wasn't doing host to post as much, but now that I've gotten back into it, I mean, every month I'm doing host to post like consistently we're enrolling 50, 60, 70 customers. And so it's, it's so, so worth it. Um, personally, I like to start my newbies off right away with it. That's immediately what I'm doing with them. When my newbies get started, um, I say, okay, girl, I want you to come up with a list of five to 10 people who you think would do anything for you. You know, we have them do that dirt list. And then I have a message that I have them send those people and they message them saying, you know, Hey, um, it, it's just real simple letting them know they started a business. They want to ask them a favor. Um, they're not asking them to buy anything, but they'd be willing to throw a post up on their wall for them. And so, yes, it's way more time consuming for me at the start, but what I'm seeing, especially with this new six loyal thing that we're trying to do with everybody they're getting their six oils within 72 hours because I'm I'm taking that time to work with them and then once they know what to do with host to post it's so easy to get them in right away with our host to post giveaway that we're doing and they're able to take off and feel confident in it um, and I just see it building a lot of confidence in our new DTs because they're coming in and you know it's sometimes we all know we can post something you know even now I can post something and it's a dud and nobody comments nobody likes and that can happen with your new DT sometimes if you have them just post on their wall, where if they have five people host a post for them, even if those five people each get two comments, that's 10 potentials that they're talking to. They're going to enroll someone and they're going to feel excited and, you know, because so many times they get started and they're nervous that someone's not going to want what we have. <laughs> so it gets them very excited to see like, okay, these, there's 10 people that I'm talking to tonight about this. So that's just how we're doing it. We just started doing that recently within like the last month. And so far it's been working really, really well for our team and helping everybody get um, their, their six oils. Um, so my system is very similar to what a lot of the ladies were saying. I personally, um, I only post TFX. That's just me personally. And then I upsell from there. Um, if I have someone who's done TFX, if, if it's been within the last six weeks, then I will give them something different. But if they've been with TFX, then I'll go ahead and have them post it again because I post about TFX multiple times throughout the month. So I, and I have different people who are interested. And so it's going to be the same concept for, for them as well. You know, if it's been two months, I have all new people that are commenting on that TFX post. If they've done TFX for me within the last two months, then I'll have them do a business post. If they are an opportunity post, if they've done both, then I'll have them do a giveaway post for me. Just like the other ladies were talking, it gives you a much bigger um, network to pull from and you're 
really are constantly busy with host to post. Um, I do, I'm, I'm kind of same. It's funny. We all have kind of the same sweet spot. Eight to 10 hosts a post a day is what I like to get up. Does it always happen? No. And guess what? The days that I don't get that up, it reflects in my business. There's not an enrollment or, you know, so, and, and you guys just maybe if it doesn't happen twice that week, my business is slow for a few days because of it. So really it's staying consistent with making sure that you're getting those, whatever that number is for you. Um, and so for me, Sometimes the, the posts that I do for our giveaway take off. And like Tracy was saying, I don't have to message anyone, but sometimes um, we, we we're experimenting this month with some of our giveaways. And this one this week is not really the best giveaway. And so we're not getting a lot of comments on our posts. So I've been messaging people asking them if they would want to post for me. So, um, you know, if I, but I don't have a specific number of messages I'm sending out. I just go until I get the amount of host to post up that I want. Um, let me make sure. Um, I know we talked about how we all save them to the collection. I do the same thing. I have collections for each giveaway that we're doing. Um, but you cannot rely on the collection because what I have found is that sometimes after the drawing, people will delete your post or they will unfriend you. And now you don't have access to that post anymore. So you have to, I'm old school. I have my notebook and I write down everybody in the notebook. The collection is great for trying to go back and do quick follow-ups, but you want to make sure that you have that insurance of if that person, you know, unfriends you or deletes the post that you still know exactly who you were talking to about what products. Um, and the other thing, and I know every, most of the time when I talk about this, people are like, oh, I had no idea. When I have someone post for me, I go look at the post and make sure that um, next to the post is either the earth, meaning that they posted it public, or the two like shadows of people, meaning they posted it to their friends. Because I have had before where you'll see a gear shift next to that, and that means that they have posted it so that you are the only one who can see it. Um, and so people are shady. <laughs> so I always... And, I try and give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was an accident, but I always, always go check and make sure that it's posted publicly or to their friends. And if it's not, I'm very red, so I have no issue telling them you're not gonna, you're not gonna get an entry if you don't change the privacy settings on that. Um, so that's just one thing to make sure that you keep an eye on. Um, if my host to post gets three or more comments, I'm messaging the poster and saying, and I'm so excited. I send a voice message. Don't type it out. Send a voice message. Oh my gosh, well, I am so, I cannot believe this. You have so many people who want this product. I have to ask, have you ever thought about doing this business with me? And that's how I'm able to do just TFX for my host to post, but still pull in distributors because you would be surprised how many people will say either, yes, I've thought about it. I just didn't think I'd be any good. Or I have people who say, I never thought about it until I saw all these people comment. And now I'm kind of curious. So you definitely want to make sure that you're not just utilizing it to bring in the customers, but you can also flip a lot of the people who post for you as a distributor as well. Um, shoot, there was something else that I was going to what I was going to say. Um, and then, you know, as far as there's two things that I think are super, super helpful for um, doing host to post, especially when you have a lot going out. Um, so I do the thing, I, I don't message them unless they friend, unless they add me as a friend. Um, and then like, I let it go for a few days and if they haven't accepted my friend request, then I'll go ahead and message them because sometimes they'll find it in the other folder. Um, but a, a girl on my team just taught me this and you guys, it's, it's a, oh my gosh, it's going to save you so much time. So when you go to add them as a friend, take two seconds, hit message and put your initial message in the message. Just don't send it. And then when they accept your friend request and you get that notification, instead of trying to go back and see who is this, which host supposed to they comment on, what product are we talking about? Are we talking about this? All you do is go hit the message and your message will pop up and all you have to do is hit send. Like it's, oh my gosh, it saved me so much time. So shout out Kristen, because that was her that told me to do that. And it's, it's seriously, we, I just started doing it. Oh my gosh, it saved so much time. Um, and then the other thing that I think is so crucial, you guys, to, I, I always get their information. Like, I very rarely send people to my website. I always get their information and enroll them myself. And I think building that trust comes from, I am so good in my stories. I make sure that I am in my stories all day long. People know I have a daughter. They know I have a son. They know that I'm married to a really great guy. Like, they see everything that goes on in our life. And the reason, I mean... We want to do that for multiple reasons, but one of the best ways, like one of the best reasons to do that is because 
if you notice when you're talking to somebody, I might send my initial message and before they've even responded, I'll see in the messenger, like the little bubble and it'll say, so-and-so watched your story. They're going to your story to see who is this. And a lot of times, like I love keto coffee and chocolate greens every single day. That's what I drink. And I all, every day I do it in my story. I, I do a story of making my coffee and chocolate greens. So a lot of times they'll watch my story. We'll talk about TFX and then they'll ask me like, oh, so what's this coffee that you, that I watched you make in your story too. So it's a great way to upsell without having to say anything. Um, and then I, I always upsell once and I wait until I have all their information. So we'll just talk about TFX. I'll get their information to purchase TFX. And then after I have everything, then I talk about the cleanse and I upsell to the cleanse. And I would say, I literally just had someone text me and say that she wanted to get the cleanse um, because of messaging her about it after I had her info. And then when I go to place her order, I'm going to take screenshots of the Mocha Dreams offer and I'm going to send her. Guys, I don't just take a screenshot of the first, I take it of every single page. So like that top screen, I take a screenshot and whatever's at the bottom, I scroll till that's at the top and take that picture. So it's like seven screenshots. But then I message them and I say, oh my gosh, girl, you got selected for a secret offer. I'm so excited for you. And then I send all the screenshots and then I send one more message saying, is this something you want to take advantage of? And most of the time they take advantage of it. So you take it from that 30 to like a 93 BB order. Super simple. So I think that's it. <laughs> Unless you have anything, Cammie. I don't. You answered all my questions, but that's something I actually just started doing this month too, is I would upsell the triple threat and then I'll go to my website or I'm going to my team's websites if I'm trying to get them um faster it's okay um I'll go to their websites and then I'll send them the picture and I've had two people upsell and it's like 130 bb and I'm like dang so that's smart keeps going until keep going until people say no okay really fast guys um you're not gonna want to miss this girl her name is amanda she is a absolute boss she's one of those people that like keeps me on my toes because i am like pretty good i like i'm so red that like if i have somebody that's like constantly enrolling uh which is this girl amanda it like fires me up so amanda i'm gonna go ahead and let you unmute yourself and then just take it away Hey, um, okay, so just you saying that, that's literally what I do. I'm so competitive, and Tracy knows this, and you know that, because I feel like we're all constantly competing to, like, see who enrolls the most, so that's freaking awesome. That makes me feel better about, like, that being a person, because <laughs> I'm super red, too, but um, first off, you guys, I'm a hot mess, so just bear with me as I go through this. I just think of things, and I write it down, so it's kind of going to go out of order. Um, hey, Tay, love you. <laughs> um, and I work a lot like Tracy works. Um, basically, almost every tip she just gave you, that's almost everything I do as well. Um, yes, I have like different things to add for you guys, but she's the one who I learned from and it really pushed me to. Um, my first month, I didn't really do anything with the business, which I mean, we all have regrets, but I learned my lesson, so now I don't let any of my newbies um, pass up on that. I went in for Host to Post my second month, and all I was doing was 30 BV coffee orders, and I went to Diamond. That's all I was doing was Host to Post for coffee. So I can't even imagine if I actually upselled like how I upsell now, like where I could have gone. So don't ever be afraid to upsell because it literally changes your business so much. Um, so. Oh, and I'm a double diamond. See, I told you I'm a hot mess. So just bear with me. But um, I'm a double diamond in the business. It, um, I think I hit it a little bit after Tracy did. Tracy, Cami, and I all kind of joined at the same time. Um, so my first big tip for you guys is interactive post. I love posting things that I get to learn more about the friends on my list. And I always answer them with a question. Um, so like I'll throw up two shoes and be like, which one do you guys think are cuter? And I get the pictures off of Pinterest and then whatever their answer is, I'll repeat with a question. I'll be like, oh, why do you think that? Or is cheetah your favorite color? Something like that, because it's going to keep your post going. And we all know the more comments you have on your post, Facebook is going to boost that, um, consistently. And like Tracy said, I don't answer all those people at the same time. I'll answer like 10 to 20 people and then I'll chill out for a minute and let them to respond to those questions that I gave. And then maybe later in the day or the next day, 
I'll go back and do like 10 or 20 more and I'll ask them questions so that not only is my post still going, but I'm like creating a better friendship with the friends that I have on there. Um, and then I don't know if everyone's team is the same, um, but for our team giveaway, we normally have one person announce the winner each Sunday and like they go live on their page and um, all of their friends get to see the like who that winner is and whatnot. Well, I realized that just by sharing her announcing the winner wasn't really helping um, my people see because they don't really know who she is. They know who you are. So I will go live after she goes live on my own page and I'll announce the same number. I'll announce the same name so that people see like, okay, this is legit. This giveaway is real. There's this many people entering it that like, this is the winner. So I'll announce it that way. Um, and then also in that live, I'll be like, if you guys want a head start on this week's giveaway, go ahead and drop something in this live because that'll keep your live going. That gets more people seeing um, your posts for the giveaway and then that gets them excited about it. Or I'll have them tag a friend in that live so that you're kind of like, I love multitasking. Like I'm going to utilize the most out of whatever I'm doing. Um, so I'll have them tag a friend because not only am I adding to my market, but I'm growing a friendship and I'm getting host to post out there. So like knocking that all out at one time. And then, um, kind of like Tracy said too, like Monday through Wednesday is my time to interact. So if I'm announcing that live on Sunday night, then I have all those people to interact with during the beginning of my week. And then, um, my host to post, like my main days are Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those days are, they're always the most interactive for me. And I mean, everyone's different. Um, so you kind of have to play around with whatever days are best for you. But that's just the days that work best for me to get my host to post up. Um, what else was there? Oh, if they host a post for me before, I don't like skip over them or anything. I will utilize that person to the max. So if they've hosted um, a post for a product before, the next post will be an opportunity post. Um, the next one will be a different product, so and so and so and so. But after they've hosted a post for me three times, that's whenever I give them the job opportunity. And then um, also, I always send out the job opportunity if they get anywhere from four to six people that comment on their post. And if they ever say no, like during that time, like that's fine. Then if they host a post for me again, I'll be like, hey, um, you know, like this could be you getting paid for it. Like I just remind them of it. And eventually I found that they normally will sign up because they're like, oh my God, I've posted for you like three times. Why am I not in this business already? I'm like, yeah, exactly. Like that's what I've been telling you. Um, so that's kind of how I work that. Um, I also don't share my host to post um, with people. Like I'll, let them know what I'm posting. Like my main ones are a cleanse, Thermo Fidex, Opportunity. Um, but if we're all sharing and using the same host to post, like Facebook flags that. Facebook is so annoying about it, um, but they flag it. So it's not me like not wanting to help someone else. And this goes from my own team. Like I don't share for them either. I'll be like, look, keep it simple. You wanna do Thermo Fidex, find your wording. 30 pounds, two pills, like play around with it, make it yourself. Because if you don't use emojis, don't post emojis. If you don't say y'all, don't say y'all, like make it your own. And it's going to take off for you because it sounds like you. Um, so that's what I tell all my newbies. And then we also have our own group page. So I have a 31 days of posting. Um, and I do that each month so that they never like have an excuse not to post something. It's just in our group chat, or I mean, in our group page. Um, so they always have something to post and it can be what they can use for a host to post if they choose or just a post for their page. Um, and then I also don't ever like have my people tag me. If they do tag me when they host posts, that's fine. I'm not gonna like tell someone not to. Um, but I just always write my name in that host to post as Amanda. I don't even put my last name. Um, I just found that that works better for me. I know we've all said like different things. So you just kind of have to play around with it. Try tagging yourself sometimes. Try the first name thing and see what works for you. 
Um, oh, I also, since these sample packs have came out, if they host a post for you, um, they're already excited and helping you. So be like, thank you so much for hosting a post for me. Here's $5 off my sample pack of the new Skinny Brew. You guys, I sold $200 of Skinny Brew after having them host a post. Like, it just took off that way. So again, if you want to multitask, you can get your host posts out, get your samples out, and then those samples are going to get to those people and then they're going to turn into little customers. So literally just like take it and run with it. The worst thing somebody's going to say is no, or they're going to be like, no, thank you. But guess what? You just planted a seed. So whenever you're posting about Skinny Brew now, they're going to be like, oh, that girl out gave me a $5 off. I wonder if like I can use it now. Like I just had a lady say that earlier because I did a Valentine's Day one. So they're going to see it. They're going to want to eventually get it from you, especially um, like if you're staying consistent. So I don't know if you guys want to try that, but I just tried that this week and it's been working really well. So hopefully it works well for you guys too. Um, I don't want to like miss anything. Sorry, I made like a ton of notes. So... Uh, yeah, everyone I talk to hosts a post for me. If they say no, if they say not at this time, if they do sign up as an LC, if they leave me on red, if they give you a thumbs up, everyone, I'm being like, I'm responding with, well, I don't know if you saw about my XYZ giveaway this week, but would you like an extra entry? If you're already messaging that person, get a host to post out of them. Um, oh. And, <laughs> sorry, I'm all over the place. If they sign up as a loyal customer, have them host a post right away because they're excited. They just signed up with you. So have them post about whatever product they just signed for because half the time there's always that friend that posts on that host a post and they're like, are you doing it? And they get to be like, yes, I am. I just bought this product. And then that friend trusts that friend and then they message you and they sign up with you. So that's what, that's really been a game changer for me. Um, every time I sign an LC, I'm like, I'm so excited for you. Also, I don't know if you saw about my giveaway this week. Do you want an extra entry um, for doing this? And then of course they're gonna post for you because they just bought the product. So why would they not post about what they're just buying? So yeah, I think that's all I have. So I thought it was all over, um, but hopefully that helped. No, that was so good. Guys, I told you, those people that hopped off, I told y'all you didn't want to miss this. And I think everybody in this thing is about to use your uh, skinny coffee uh, $5 off. Uh, <laughs> you, because you literally, I don't know if you saw my mouth, but my jaw was like. <laughs> I couldn't because I was on the active thing. <laughs> and then, um, okay, well, I might as well share this too. It has nothing to do with host and post, but since they're on the skinny brew thing, so we just had Valentine's Day, and I was like, happy Valentine's Day. Um, whoever drops a coffee emoji gets a surprise on me. And you guys can do this like how we do the Friday thing, or the happy Friday. Um, you can do the skinny brew, and then I say I'm giving them a $5 off coupon. I don't know how everybody sells theirs, but I normally sell mine for 15 so I say I'm giving them a $5 off coupon um, that it's like originally 20 and then I sell it for 15 so that, because we don't really have to do the shipping anymore with the app. So I'm just like, well, this makes sense. So, yeah. That's game changing. <laughs> ah! Okay, I love it. Guys, thank you so much for hopping on and spending an extra nine minutes <laughs> with us than you thought you would. So sorry. A, a, uh, no, I told you guys it was going to be worth it. She was going to bring the heat and, you know, this is why she's about to go triple. So thank you guys so much for hopping on. I'm hoping to do more of these um, soon. Thank you guys. Bye.